Hey there, creeps. This is your old friend, Jimmy Hate, with Hammer News on Super Creep TV, bringing the news for the days of March 5th through March 12th, 2017. I have to be completely honest with you fine viewers, my dedicated viewers, the, the few and the proud. I ain't got shit this week. So, in between drinking binges, it just wasn't time for writing. And I've completely ignored my artist friend like all the other important people in my life, so I don't even have art for this shit. But, being the dedicated entertainer that I am, I'm still doing it. This is gonna be off the cuff, so I apologize in advance for the uh, ill-preparedness of this episode and the lack of quality. So, without further ado, let's get this shit show on the road! So, sweet viewers of mine, did you realize that there is a festival held every year that encompasses an entire weekend in Colorado that celebrates do-it-yourself cryogenic freezing? It is news to me too. A fella named Barreto Morse Stowell, I am certain I am butchering that and I am sorry I did so, died in 1989. His wife and son, being the kind-hearted souls that they are, decided to freeze the guy using liquid nitrogen. Now, years later in 1993, they decided to move to a small, t small town near Boulder, Colorado to start their own cryogenics business. You know, back in 1993, the, the hot ticket businesses were Starbucks and cryogenic freezing, as we all remember, so you can understand where they were coming from. But, from my understanding, all that shit fell through, but the cops happened to be alerted to the fact that the two were carrying a corpse around. Been kicking around for five years by that point. The story caused a media sensation. I mean, I guess. I don't remember the fucking guy, but I've been assured that it happened. The festival is celebrated with coffin races, bowling with dead animals, and jumping in frozen water. I'm sure Bredo would be proud. Fredo's wife and kid were deported, and he's now taken care of by some fucking dude that dumps tons of dry ice on him in a metal container. I mean, I don't exactly know if that preservation method is sound, but I ain't no fucking scientist either. So this lawyer was defending his client against charges that he set his own car on fire for whatever reason you would set your own car on fire. Probably just trying to get rid of the transformer living inside of it or whatever. But the lawyer's pants caught on fire during the hearing. Now, this lawyer had three e-cigarette batteries just stuffed in his pocket for whatever fucking reason. I don't know why you would need three fucking e-cigarette batteries in his pocket, but he had three e-cigarette batteries in his pocket. Probably had a long night planned at the gym or something, I don't know. But, they started to go off in the middle of the hearing. He managed to get things under control before anybody actually got hurt, but... It just seems a little set up to me. He claims that it was an accident, but a little too good of an argument for the client's own claims that the car accidentally caught on fire. You know, accidents can happen anytime. But it did fuck all, though. They still convicted his ass. I warned you, it wasn't going to be very good. That's all I could suckle from the teat of creativity. Now, before I discuss myself any further, if you have any news tips for us, please send them to supercreeptv at gmail.com with the subject of Newsroom. We want to very much thank our Patreon supporters if they already haven't jumped ship. Mary Poppins and Tez, this has been Jimmy Hate. We'll see you next week, but we will see you the week after that. Oh!